Shohei Otani, arguably the greatest show on earth. Hit the intro. Swing and a miss. Shohei Otani, the spectacular one. Oh. There's a drive. just signed the largest contract in American sports history, but his lifestyle will definitely surprise you. The fact that you got a foreign player that doesn't speak English, I think contributes to harming the game to some degree. Let's quickly start things off with his background. Shohei Otani was born in the rural town of Oshu in the northern prefecture of Owari, Japan on July 5th, 1994. His mother, Kayoko, was a professional badminton player and his father, Toru, was an amateur baseball player who played in the Japanese Industrial League. He is the youngest of three children. Otani was what the Japanese call a yaku shonen, basically a kid who lives, eats, and breathes baseball. His father introduced him to baseball at a young age, and he became obsessed with it. As a teenager, he attended Hanamaki Higashi High School, where he played baseball and was a standout talent on the swim team. As an 18-year-old, Otani threw a 99-mile-per-hour fastball, setting a Japanese high school record. On October 21st, 2012, he announced that he would pursue a career in Major League Baseball rather than turn professional in Japan. Nevertheless, the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters decided to draft him in the 2012 NPB Draft. After strong negotiations between him and the fighters, Otani announced that he would sign with the fighters and spend some years in Japan before a possible MLB move. This would allow Otani to serve as a pitcher and position player. The Los Angeles Dodgers, who had become Otani's top choice MLB team, were not prepared to let him play both ways. Now let's briefly discuss his early career. At age 18, Otani made his debut for the fighters playing as a right fielder. On the mound, Otani went 3-0 for the season. He only batted 238, and future Yankees pitcher Masahiro Tanaka dominated Otani. In his sophomore season, he became the first Japanese player to reach double digits in both home runs and wins. And during the All-Star game that year, this happened. Yup, that was the fastest pitch ever thrown by a Japanese player. Otani led the league in wins and winning percentage the following season. The following year was like no other. He was the runaway winner of the 2016 Pacific League Most Valuable Player Award, and he once again set a new league record. The following year, Otani sought to play in the MLB. In November of 2017, MLB and NPB came to a posting agreement for Otani. The Los Angeles Angels paid a $20 million posting fee to the fighters, marking the end of a dominant NPB career. It's time to talk about his MLB career and achievements. On December 8th, 2017, Otani agreed to a deal with the Los Angeles Angels and received a $2.3 million signing bonus. The following April, he made his pitching debut, striking out six batters to pick up his first MLB win. Two days later, Otani hit his first MLB home run. That's out toward right center field. Gone! Big fly, Otani-san! In his rookie season, he joined Babe Ruth as the only MLB player with 10 pitching appearances and 20 homers in a season. He was later named the AL Rookie of the Year. After recovering from Tommy John surgery, Otani became the first Japanese-born player to hit for the cycle in MLB history. Shohei, a little flare out to right center field. There's a base hit, and Shohei Otani has just hit for the cycle. Though the following year didn't start out so great, Otani returned to the mound against the Oakland A's and made his first pitching appearance in almost two years. He allowed five runs and was removed from the mound without recording an out. A flexor strain would prevent him from pitching for the rest of the season. He decided to make some major changes that offseason. He adjusted his diet, started squatting heavily again, and bulked up to 225 pounds. That June, Otani became the first pitcher elected to the Home Run Derby. Five days later, he made history again, and this time, it was even weirder. Otani hit for himself as a pitcher with designated hitter rules in place. This marked the first time in MLB history that an AL team chose to not use a DH while an NL team did. He made history the following month, becoming the first player selected as an all-star 
as both a position player and a pitcher. Otani was awarded the AL MVP and Silver Slugger Awards for 2021. The following year, Otani was the center of some innovative MLB changes. This included a new rule enabling a pitcher to remain in the batting order as a DH after leaving the mound. He hit his first career Grand Slam that May. Otani has never hit a Grand Slam until now! And a month later, he set a career high with 13 strikeouts to help lift the Angels over the Royals. Otani finished the 2022 season with a 15-9 record and 34 home runs. In June of the following season, Otani would have the game of a lifetime. After hitting a home run in the bottom of the first and striking out 10, this would happen in the bottom of the seventh. A couple of years ago, Otani hits one in the air, left center field, hit well, let's go! Otani for the second of the night. For the third year in a row, Otani was named an all-star as both a pitcher and a designated hitter. And later that month, he recorded his first complete game and shutout against the Tigers. One year to the date of his grand slam, he recorded his second. He scored in the first. Swing and a drive out to right field. That one's got a chance and it's gone! though a UCL tear would sideline him for the remainder of the season. Otani then became a free agent, and he decided to sign the most insane deal in sports history. But before we talk about that, let's briefly go over his international highlights. Otani's biggest international moment came at the World Baseball Classic in 2023. Overall, Otani batted 435 and pitched to a 1.86 ERA. But the moment that won it all was rather awkward? With two outs in the top of the ninth, this happened. He struck him out! Otani strikes out Trout, and Japan's back on top of the baseball world! Yep, he struck out his teammate and good friend to win the World Baseball Classic for Japan. One of the greatest moments in baseball history. And in the end, he called it the best moment of his life. Let's take a look at his recent contracts and brand deals. Otani just signed the largest deal ever, but it's not what you think. Let's first start with his rookie contracts. After signing with the fighters of the NPB, he received a $1.2 million bonus and received the maximum rookie base salary of $150,000. And in 2016, he signed a $2.37 million contract extension for the next season. But when he decided to move to the MLB the following year, things got a little tricky. Otani was defined as an amateur because he was not 25 and did not have six years in any professional leagues. Because of that, he had to sign a minor league contract to enter the MLB. He would not be eligible for free agency until after the 2023 season. So at 23, he signed with the Angels for a $2.3 million bonus and a minor league contract. His rookie salary for the year was set at $535,000. Then his salary rose to $650,000 in 2019 and then $700,000 in 2020. After finishing his fourth season with the Angels, he signed a two-year contract worth $8.5 million, avoiding arbitration. In Otani's final year of arbitration eligibility before free agency, the Angels signed him to a one-year deal worth $30 million. And that's nothing compared to his next contract. In December of 2023, Otani signed a record-breaking $700 million contract with the Los Angeles Dodgers, the richest in North American sports history. It even includes his own private suite for every home game. But there is a caveat. Otani opted to defer over 97% of his annual salary throughout his 10-year deal. He'll only be paid $2 million for the next 10 seasons in LA, allowing the Dodgers to take a lesser luxury tax hit thus being able to build a better roster and increase their championship odds. But don't worry, Otani won't be hurting for cash. ESPN reported that Otani makes $45 million annually through endorsements, including Japanese watchmaker Seiko, as well as Fanatics, New Balance, and Tops. He also got another bonus after landing on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Now that we know how much he makes, how does he spend his cash? He's one of the highest paid players of all time, so there's no doubt he's made some luxurious purchases. One of the first cars he went out and bought was this Tesla Model X. This set him back a modest $78,000.
He later bought a Porsche 911, which cost him $131,000. He also has a decent watch collection, including his Grand Seiko, which goes for $9,000. Now let's step into his personal life. Otani became a millionaire while he was still a teenager, but unlike most young adults, he didn't live lavishly. Instead, he had his mom control all of his money and would send him $1,000 a month for living expenses. Most of Otani's life revolves around baseball, even when he's not playing or practicing. He'll often sleep 10 or more hours in a single day and frequently works naps into his baseball routine. He even has his custom pillows stuffed with extra material in order to maintain their height. Aside from speaking Japanese, Angels catcher Martin Maldonado says Otani knows Spanish better than English. How show he Spanish? It's a sneaky good. In his free time now, he plays video games with his teammates as a way for him to become fluent in English. Also in his downtime, he enjoys watching the NFL and going to NHL games to see his friend Brandon Montour. He's got a good fashion sense too, and even sat down with GQ to take a couple photos. Now for some moments that caused some waves in Otani's career. He pretty much flies under the radar, but his lack of English hasn't stopped a few pundits from voicing their opinions. I don't think it helps that the number one face is a dude that needs an interpreter so you can understand what well, the hell he's English saying a, in this helpful. country. In 2021, Stephen A. Smith went on a rant about how Otani using an interpreter is harming baseball in the United States. Though some controversy after his latest contract signing goes a little deeper. A clause in his contract states that he can opt out at any time if controlling owner Mark Walter or president of baseball operations Andrew Friedman lose their roles with the team. This clause has ignited a wave of criticism and frustration from fans who perceive it as an unprecedented level of player influence over front office decisions. Now at this point, you must be getting excited about his career earnings. As we mentioned before, he just signed one of the largest deals in sports history, so we're sure his net worth is going to rise. Having said that, his total career earnings to date are $42,269,000. Thanks for watching.